This book isn't a novel to be read from cover to cover, but it is a very handy book to have around the house. 100 Books You Must Read, number 69, The Joy of Cooking by Irma Rombauer and sometimes others. This cookbook was first published in 1931. The author was a recent widow and hoped to help support her family by publishing the book. It has since sold something like 18 million copies. There have been many revisions of the book. Ones which you can still buy today are the original, the 1975 edition, which is the most popular, the 1997 edition, which added a lot of international recipes, and a 75th anniversary edition. If you don't want a whole slew of cookbooks cluttering up your kitchen, this one will suffice to provide you with recipes for pretty much anything you want to make, from minestrone and mulligatawny to meringue. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day. A Flower in a Letter by Elizabeth Barrett Browning My lonely chamber next the sea is full of many flowers set free by summer's earliest duty. Dear friends upon the garden walk might stop amid their fondest talk to pull the least in beauty. A thousand flowers, each seeming one, that learnt by gazing on the sun to counterfeit his shining, within whose leaves the holy dew that falls from heaven has won anew a glory in declining. Red roses used to praises long, contented with the poet's song, the nightingales being over, and lilies white prepared to touch the whitest thought, nor soil it much, of dreamer turned to lover. Deep violets you liken to the kindest eyes that look on you without a thought disloyal and cactus as a queen might don if weary of a golden crown, and still appear as royal. Pansies for ladies all, I wis that none who wear such brooches miss a jewel in the mirror. And tulips, children love to stretch their fingers down, to feel an edge its beauty's secret nearer. Love's language may be talked with these, to work out choicest sentences, no blossoms can be meeter. And such being used in eastern bowers, young maids may wonder if the flowers, or meanings, be the sweeter.